All right, everybody, welcome back. Resident Evil 2 on the Series X. So where we left off here, just got to nest. There's Sherry. She needs help. And, uh, well, so do we, actually. I need to get some ammo. So without further ado, let's explore Nest. Okay. Well, first things first. There's one down, oh. It's a strong one. Oh my goodness gracious, oh that's good. Nice little pick up there. Um. Oh damn, I guess we have to kind of get this one. Come on. Oh my goodness, look at that twi- <laughs> Okay. These are some tough cookies here. So yeah, the main thing we gotta do here is um, gotta keep upgrading our wristband because all these doors require different like levels of clearance so oh my dude that's not cool that ain't cool man come on bro on oh is really gonna play this game with this guy eh? Come on, man, that's ridiculous. Just stay on this side of the door, dude. That's ridiculous. I guess I'll take that one, too. Right. So there's our second level of clearance. Yes! That is uber important. Finally get another grenade round. Oh! High voltage condenser. I'm trying to remember what the heck that does. Oh. We do not have the tool for solving that one yet. It's like a frequency adjuster thing. Let me just check what this does. Custom part for the spark shot. Reducing the time between shots. Oh, I didn't even bring the spark shot with me. Okay. Here we go. General staff. Oh, what? How did... Come on, man. Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East area. 
Dr. Lee's still taking a nap, guys. Hate to break it to you. He ain't coming back. Um... Store the knife? No. Let's keep it. Actually, I'm gonna do this before I forget. Look at that thing. How crazy does that look? Um... Store... This is just large... Gunpowder. So let's make ourselves some bullets. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, there we go. I think that's looking pretty good right now. Let's just roll it. Handgun and the grenade launcher. Always save when you can. Unlimited saves, there's no reason not to. Alright, let's rumble. So, antiviral agents in the West Area. Oh, Dr. Birkin. If only you knew. Is this a blue? Yes. Man, like, look at how crazy this lab is. Like, how do you even hide? Like, is this supposed to? Be, I always wonder, is this supposed to be hidden? Like, because the cable car is in the sewer. Look at this. Whee! All right, all right, all right. That's always appreciated. So is that. We got another save room here. Nice. I'm going to equip that over the grenade. Oh my goodness gracious, it's these things. There's our purple wristband. Oh god. That's terrible. That is terrible. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. Alright, alright. Settle down. Uh oh. Look at this. This is where we'll probably need this. That's not good. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Go, go, go. Dispensing solution now. Okay. We need a code. There I am. Uh, 
And this is where it's gonna start to get a little bit tricky. Red herb, I'm leaving that for now. Uh, yeah, so we need to get in here. Oh. So, there's the first two characters of that Pasco we need. Conveniently, the rest is ripped off. So yeah, we need to get that cartridge filled with stuff. Um, first, we need to unlock that cabinet there. We gotta cool it down. Then we gotta kill some other stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll have a grand old time. So yeah, I think the pass, if I remember the passcode opens that. Um, first things first, I'm gonna have to do some nifty, uh oh, avoiding here. Okay. Okay. That's our passcode. I'm taking a quick picture of that with my telephone. So I do not have to run back here for it. Uh, oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. That's bad. Let's just uh, equip that. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, let's not even bother with that guy just yet. Okay. Our passcode is some of these look really similar, so I'm going to try and uh, make sure we do this correctly. Okay. Alright. Good going, Claire. Professional effort. Nothing there, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Come on, guys. You're blocking my road here. I need you both to come this way. Get your buddy. You need to get these pseudo udos out of the way. There we go. It ain't rocket science, guys. You just gotta lure them one way, run the other. Don't go there just yet. See if we've got any items. Yes, we do. Oh. Yes, that's majorly important. Okay. We are in business here, guys. Got some good acid rounds. Now we can start kicking ass again. No power. So, I think everybody knows what we gotta do. There's a lot of blood down here. Oh, yes. We are so in business now with these. Only concern 
is I might be running out of ammo. That's another one of those puzzles. Helix Trophy. Now, we always want to investigate our key items, right? We'll have a look at that. should be our code for opening up the cabinet there for our syringe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's back up. Oh! Oh no! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. And I'm gonna take a hit here too. Wow! I thought I was being so smart avoiding those liquors. And those stupid zombies had to get up and ruin everything. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot you. wait for this guy to get back up because apparently the liquors didn't hear me over here which is pretty nice actually you know what screw it let's just let's just go back up and do the uh, enter the passcode I am pretty certain that's what we have to do now. You just fill up that syringe. And you guys are going to have to watch me struggle with another puzzle. Okay. Make sure I've got this down right. That's the chubby block. Oh, never mind, that's not the chubby block. That's the chubby block. Alright. Okay. Now we can go fill the ting up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stupid Ed. Unfortunately, we have squandered, like, all of our, um... Manual mode engaged. Okay. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. So, this is a bit of a tough one here, this puzzle. Cause yeah, you gotta like... Oh, look at that, it's so close. But yeah, you see what we have to do here, basically. Um... So 
So again, I might just have to do um, a timestamp for you guys. <laughs> if I can't figure this out soon-ish. Hold on a second. I feel like this might be it. Wait. Tell me that's it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Okay, so it's not wasn't perfect. <laughs> it's a little bit of trial and error on my part. We did it. We got it. We figured it out. I gotta run past these guys again. Wow, that dude got up again. Are you kidding me? Did one of them stay behind? It better not. Okay, good. Come on, Claire. Get in the hole. Okay, I'm sure... Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, what? That's ridiculous, dude. It moves way too fast. Come on, arsehole. Oh, what the... This is ridiculous, dude. They come out of freaking nowhere. Please get off of me. Okay. I think we've avoided danger for now. But holy crap, that was a little frustrating. What? going on original player oh come on dudes stay still oh this guy okay yeah i'm just not interested in trying to dodge these guys every single time oh for god's sakes they're freaking falling in the sky now Okay. Yeah, shit. Hope to God that guy doesn't get back up again. Oh, for God's sakes, dude. I'm not super <laughs> impressed with myself, to be honest, in this playthrough. I've kind of wasted some ammunition. There's this... Okay, that's the tool we need. Burn them all. Burn, baby, burn. 
but that's the um that modulator that's the tool we need for solving those like wall puzzles and what the hell is this oh right on dude keep on rocking in the free world okay we're done in rings with that um Let's make some more acid rounds, actually. Yeah, there we go. Alright. We got our signal thingy modulator. Um, I've barely touched that MQ-11, too. Get that. I think I saw another red herb, right? Yeah, there we go. Going to uh, try to avoid using those healing items like the freaking plague because we burned through like three, I think, just in that one sequence. So I think for like restoring the power, I think you have to like go to all these signals or something. And, um, like, match the patterns or whatever. And I think if you do all of them, I think that turns on the power, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to remember. Oh, these freaking arseholes are going to be out here in the hallway, aren't they? See, I do believe they got out last time. Oh, they didn't. Nice. Yes, they did. Down you go. Anybody in the nap room? No? Okay. Air? What? Oh, okay. Right, yeah, I think you have to do it, like, on the... MUF, there we go. Okay, so that should. So you gotta like match up the patterns or whatever. That should work now. And there's our power back. And look at that, we got a hip pouch. Thank goodness. There's Wayne Newton. Or Wayne Lee. Poor Wayne. Actually, not poor Wayne. He's gonna eat me. Let's just get the hell out of here. Yeah, now we're going to take this back to where we saw where we had our close encounters with the liquors. We're going to match that pattern up. Going to get the power on. And then we can, uh, yeah, then we can go and cool the agent. And Bob's your uncle. Robert's your father's brother, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, do I need anything? No, I don't need anything. Oh, 
Oh! What up, guy? Where does this go? Right, I don't really want to go through there. Because I do not want to deal with plant guys again. But this guy... So, at least the good thing <laughs> with the new games, with the remakes... I just remember playing old Resident Evil games. It was like you just had to deal with the door animations. Oh, that was so freaking close. And you kind of just had no choice. You didn't know what was on the other side of the door, and you just kind of had to deal with it. At least in this, you can see what's on the other side of the door before you go in there. Sort of plan your attack. Uh, yeah, let's go get some power back on. I'm gonna equip this in case there's another liquor. Looks like we're good. Is that a. Damn it. Somebody's standing up over there. Stupid shadow. Okay, what's this? Murph. Oh. Is that Murph? Yeah. Murphy Pendleton. Actually, I don't want to give a shout out to Silent Hill Downpour. That game. Ugh. No, thank you. Murph, where are you? Murphy Brown. That's better. Kramer's on a Murphy Brown. Here's Murph. Give me power! Jeremy Clarkson. I'm giving all the shoutouts today. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, focus. We've got some agents to chill. Apparently that turned the power on, but it it's still pretty you dark. Five, new messages. five messages. <laughs> so yeah, I guess there was your hint about the trophy right there. I guess they intend you for you to not look at the trophy until you read that email. Jeez. Damn. Should have packed my parka. No kidding, it is freezing in there. So that's where the agent goes right there. I'm just gonna do a quick little item check. Okay. Here we go. Cooling complete. A live look inside the Moderna factory. <laughs> uh, did I miss anything? No. So. We 
are taking this bad boy back upstairs. Actually, I think there's another room here we can go in. After we kill this dude. For like the hundredth time, it seems. These guys just keep getting up. Please just stay down. Oh, I got my knife back. There we go. Oh, wow, this is a safe room? I'm trying to think if we even really need to do anything right now. I mean, I'll put some of this stuff away. I don't think we need to make any more rounds right now. There's just some good reorganizing. I mean, I guess I'll save. I'll stick to my golden rule. If you have the chance to save, just do it. Like Nike. See, I'm just trying to remember when we have to fight the third G. Because we know he's coming. <laughs> But when? Oh, this is gonna be close. Oh, that was close. Dispensing solution now. Now we get to upgrade our wristband. It's, uh, this feels like Forza Horizon 1, if anybody ever played that so game. For the weed infestation. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Your actions have been locked, and you may be subject to disciplinary measures. Here we go. Senior staff wristband. Wow, I thought that would have killed the guys, actually. Um, I don't think we can get past this guy, so... Let's just shoot him. burn man another one Jesus. come on Claire don't slow down oh dude they're everywhere now why did I go this way Wow, I cannot believe I didn't get hit by one of them. Oh, I can check this computer, actually. <laughs> that was our herbicide disposal that got logged. Not Mr. Lee's. Um, yeah, we're gonna save again. What do you think of them apples? Anyway, now we can go this way. There we go. Get that other bridge. I gotta find that anti soon. Yeah, we sure do. 
clock's taking on a little sherry, unfortunately, so we gotta hurry. Go video cassette. Oh, that guy's got another thing actually. So, yeah, absolutely, we take that. Um, right, we need the power. OSS. Was the easiest one yet. Damn, I'm doing much better with the puzzles today, guys. That's beneficial for all of us. <laughs> Let me go check some more emails. My goodness, William Birkin with some... The story... Like, in terms of, like, bosses and antagonists or whatever, if you can even call him an antagonist, poor guy's just a... Scientist that got caught up with the wrong people, but... Like, William Birkin's definitely at the top. Like, my personal favorite... Um, Resident Evil boss was always... Nosferatu and Code Veronica. He might not be the most memorable, but I always thought he was the scariest. But this guy's right up there. Got eyes on the G-Virus. Go on in. Dr. Birkin, you'll come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work! I'm not handing over anything! We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive! Yes, that's pretty much the getting quite the recap on here on William Birkin and his masterful creation. Of course, it's Resident Evil, so people always get their fingers in everything, and they want they want the viruses, and the military wants the viruses, and Umbrella wants to sell them to the top bidder, whatever. And people come in, and everything goes to hell pretty quickly. Long story short, maybe don't make a virus that turns people into mutating freaks. And these things won't happen. Um, you know what? I know what this is. I think we are going to... Yeah. This is going to be part 8. We'll cap it off. Because I got a feeling we got a big meeting with our friend William again after this. So, we'll leave it there. Do some sorting. And at the start of part 9, I'm sure I'm going to be getting my inventory ready. Oh, wait. You know what? There's no typewriter here. Okay. We do have to go across. 
bear with me here. Dun, 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 dun. Check it out, this is such a cool room. Such a cool room this is. And yeah, it looks really good on Series X, obviously. Okay, so yeah, there's that. Um, we've got to open that up. Which I think... Research diary. Okay. I'll clear this room quickly. We're already here, and then we'll save. And call it a day. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I put that... There we go. Damn it. Oh, look at that. All right. Hell yeah. Got it. our antiviral agent. Now we're calling it a day. So yeah, start of part nine, we're going to be stocking up and getting ready. So we're going to have a big encounter <laughs> in that last room we just came through. But yeah, I will see you guys then. And buckle in for part nine, it's going to be a wild ride.